Hey there, how you doing? This is Dean Etheridge with 360 Business Reviews and today I'm going to be addressing the subject of making YouTube video thumbnails and an easy free way that you can do that to make them look nice and if you've ever made videos in the past and caught some awkward looking shots, you know, that you didn't want to, they were blurry, out of focus, or they just made you look stupid with your eyes or your mouth or whatever, I'm going to help you eliminate that today but also when they're going up on a website, they look better with the thumbnails instead of a bad image that you may not want out there. So in this video, I'm going to show you a free way that I'm using now that makes incredible thumbnails. It's simple to use. It's completely free, uh, no charge whatsoever. So follow along with me in this video. I think you'll get a lot out of it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I'm out on YouTube and this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see my custom thumbnail here. Uh, looks pretty boring. It really doesn't say anything about local SEO services. So I want to make that pop a little bit and then You know if I set it to here that looks bad this thumbnail looks bad But it's got an option down here for custom thumbnail and you'll see this all the time your images don't project What you want but also in the search results the ones that look the best that that have nice graphics Those are the ones that get selected. So this will help you get more views on your YouTube uh, channel as well, so what I'm going to do is go out to, I use a program called Canva, okay? Now, this is completely free, and up here you've got all these different options. You've got Facebook covers, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, posters, presentations, and if you open it up, you can do blogs, ebooks, blog titles, marketing materials, flyers, business cards, you name it. And it's completely free to use, and it's absolutely amazing. You can do your own custom dimensions. So if you're doing ad work or you need a graphic a certain size, you can do that. Just type that in here by 900 design and boom, you're done. I'm not gonna do that here. So I'm gonna go out and just do this presentation, 7, 1024 by 768. I think that's a good size for YouTube. It'll work better than anything I've got right now. They also have a Google Plus photo or cover page, but what I'm going to do is they've got all these layouts here, all right, and I can choose from these. You can see these images. So if I selected that one, for example, this one cost a dollar to download uh, if I wanted to pay for it, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is just delete that. I'm going to get rid of that, but I can go down here, and this is what's really neat. I'll just undo that. It's very easy to work with. It's just drag and drop. You can download text all kinds of different design styles that are already made for you if you want to pay I think they're a dollar to buy these these layouts but I do this all the time myself and make my own custom layouts for example these are the different layouts so I can pick this one this one this one and just for example if I want to do that one just to show you how easy it is to drag and drop these aren't going to fit right probably you have to adjust them but it's no big deal um, I can put that there's a logo and let's do one other plate that he's got but that's it I could put some text on it and it's it's actually a decent looking graphic right now I can download it save it to my computer and I'm done but what I wanted to do is show you how to make YouTube covers so I'm going to use one of their free templates here so let's go back out to layouts let's scroll all the way to the top of the page and that's where you'll see most of the free ones up there. They're mixed in throughout. I saw one earlier that I thought was pretty cool that I, I could do something with. It's based on marketing. So this one here, it's close. It's got a couple of icons I want, but I can go, I'll show you how we can get icons later. So let's just go ahead and start editing it. I don't like the color of this background. I want to change the background to red. All right. And I don't like the, that obviously is not going to work with the, the red. So I'm going to make that. I'll make that black. That will stand out a little bit. I'm going to copy this because I want to use the same format. It's kind of cool how they have the text above and below. And I'm going to change this to, I'm speaking to small business owners and I'm doing case studies. And I'm just going to, you're going to see this whole thing unwind here. All right, so that's a um, little bit bigger than I want it, but I'm going to change the text. I really like this one, the railway change that to white it's nice and flat it's really really pretty nice and I'm going to delete some of these images I don't want I'm going to use a different graphic for that so just delete these 
And I can change the fonts, uh, the text size, anytime. I want to move that up. And you'll see these lines, these measurement lines, will show me where I'm centered perfectly, right? So I'm going to scoot that up just a little bit. And I'm not a great graphic designer, but this just makes it so easy to do some great things. That line is in the way just a little bit. So I'm going to delete that one. Bring this down. Delete this. Delete this. Still got to change this color to make that pop just a little bit. This. Now I can add other pictures if I wanted. So I've got the picture I want, but I'm just going to go out and show you. I'll just go out to my computer, pick an image there. Okay, because I want to show Google Plus. This is a, a case study on Google Plus. So I want to show, I want to try to reach people that are actually looking for that. And I want to make this dollar sign kind of stand out. I'll move this over, but it helps me center everything. It's got lines that already show up. So I'll bring that in. I can resize this. I can do anything I want. I can change the color of it. And we want to make that kind of pop so it's prominent on the page. And let's bring in the next graphic, which is, okay, there's icons here, all kinds of stuff. These are all, a lot of these are free. You can do different things here, but I'm looking for charts. I'm looking for a growth chart. They can do shapes, cameras, photos, images, squares, circles, triangles, all, all kinds of stuff. But this is what I'm looking for here. Obviously, that's too big. And I'll try to match that up with this. Get that to the top line. And it tells me that I'm centered. Change the color. And that should be pretty good to go. Uh, now, if you see this on the page, it should stand out pretty well. I want to lower that just a little bit. Okay, so I've got my icon, I've got my growth, I've got my, it's just great stuff here. And we'll check to make sure that that's level, and it is. It's level with everything. I hit download, and, and I can save this. It saves all of your images. And we can do an SEO friendly title, hit done. Now I'm going to download this. I can download a high quality PDF if it's a flyer. Again, you can do everything with Canva. If you haven't used it yet and you do anything online, even if you just like to have fun, this thing makes amazing graphics in just a couple of minutes as you've seen. And it helps you line everything up and you don't have to be good at this. And there's just tons of free content. Now I can tweet that if I want to write a post. But this thing's ready to go. So now all i got to do is go back out to YouTube go to custom thumbnail, go to downloads, and that was local, I think we started that with an L. All right, it was Google, G. Okay, there's my image. Okay, now I want to, now I want to save that. Okay, so now when this image comes up, this is what the graphic's gonna look like. I'm gonna save that, and I'll refresh that in just a second so you can see what it looks like in the thumbnail. Okay, I did that quick. All right, so I'm going to show you another thing that you can do in, in Canva that's great. It didn't size right. If you look, some of the text is off this. It's not centered right. I didn't pick the right image. I just went in there and did this. But here we go, 1280 by 720. I picked the wrong thing. So now, let's just go out here. I've made a mistake. I can go back out to Custom Dimensions. Hit Design. Okay, and now I'm going to drag that picture back in here and see if I can scale it to make it look decent. Here it is. It's uploaded it. Okay, that's an issue. Okay, so this is not ideal. I made a mistake, but I won't do that again, obviously. But let's, um, let's take that, get that centered. We'll change this background, and you can learn from my mistake. Oh, this is another thing that I didn't show you, but you can change the backgrounds to colors, textures and I'm gonna match that up okay now I took that out just had to redo it just a little bit change the size make that as big as we can and that should be a wrap so again we'll just download it save it done but this thing is so flexible it's just it's just incredible uh, download that I'll click download as an image Go back out to YouTube, change that image, because it didn't get it right. 
Okay, and we can see that this is the right side, 1280 by 720. Save changes, refresh. Okay, now you can see this. Now sometimes YouTube doesn't always refresh these quickly, but it's definitely gonna look fine because I can see it here. And even when I go out to my video manager page, you can see that it's lined up, everything looks good. And that's a small thumbnail in the back of my video manager, but you get my point. It's definitely gonna work and help me get more views and clicks onto my video, but make me look a lot more professional too by having nice looking thumbnails. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Visit me out at deanethers.com for more videos like this and training, learning how to do marketing online, or you can also go out to 360 Business Reviews. If you have a small business or you're interested in marketing to small businesses, go out there and check that out as well. It got a lot of great information. So thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care everybody.